My name is Ryan Govier, and I'm a double major in economics and statistics. Statistics is more problem solving, I would say, while math is more, you know, defined equations. The idea is to prove something's true or to prove something's not true. A current project I'm working on for my senior paper, I'm going to explore the uh, GDP or the gross domestic product of a few cities throughout the, the nation that have a football team, a baseball team, a basketball team, and a hockey team, all professional. And my goal is of the of the study is to kind of see you know, through the years, if the home team is particularly successful, if the Vikings go out and win 10 games in a season, does that particular number boost GDP? Does that make your GDP go up? Ideally, what, what I believe will show is that if the Vikings go out and win 10 games, and let's say they're 10 and two, when I go to that next game, I'm gonna go out and buy my Adrian Peterson jersey. Because, you know, oh, I want to go support my team, they're doing good, I want to be, you know, I want to go to a game, things like that. So then, in theory, it should boost your GDP. Your, your city should, you know, see a bit more revenue because the team is being successful. What I'm kind of looking for is seeing, okay, if, you know, for every one win of the home team, is that significantly increase the amount of GDP in that particular quarter? And so uh, that's kind of what my goal of the study is, to see what kind of relationship I can draw from those particular variables. The biggest thing that they, people don't see in stats majors is that they want to see those interpersonal skills, those people who can talk to people. Be able to show that you can work with other people, you can work within a group, or you know you can present in front of people. I mean, a lot of times when you interview, you end up giving a presentation because it's like, you know, that's what they're looking for. They want to see if that's what you can do, because that's what you're going to be doing. I personally, I went Greek, that really helped me out. Kind of gave me that camaraderie, that personal skills, working in a group. You know, we, you got a group of guys all kind of working towards a, t a common goal. If you want to be a very successful statistician, I would highly suggest that you go out and uh, develop your personal skills and your presentation skills and your communication skills because we all can analyze data, but we all can't present our findings.